Today is officially 2015. And what better way to start this year off than 20 free Android applications that you might find useful throughout this entire year. So let's get right into it. There are two parts to this video. On my How To My Channel, I will show you the first 10 applications, and you can find the other 10 applications on my second channel called Andrew Techman, and I will have that in the description to go check out, but let's get right into it. 1. Cram. Cram is an image compressor application to shrink the size of your pictures so they won't take up too much space on your phone. Nowadays, pictures that you take on your phone are usually 2 to 5 megabytes in size, which is unnecessarily huge. With this app, you won't need to worry about the size being an issue. The image quality stays the same, the dimensions are the same, and the only thing that changes is the size from megabytes to kilobytes. 2. Liveboot Liveboot requires root, but if you have root, this will be an application that you don't need, but you probably want. This will replace your boot animation with a log cat of what is going on when your phone is booting up your entire system. So when you click restart or you're powering on your phone, you basically get like a summary of what is going on in code, but you obviously will not read it all, but it still looks cool because it makes you feel like a hacker or a boss. 3. AZ Screen Recorder AZ Screen Recorder is a great application to record your screen with if you don't have root. Now you can select the resolution, enable audio recording, show touches, and enable a time limit. It's pretty awesome all the things that you can do and it's smooth and easy to use. The only downside would be that it's not supported for your phone, but you can check the link in the description to go check it out, see if it works. And if it doesn't, then I'm sorry, but if it does work, then yeah, congrats. 4. Minima Live Wallpaper Minima is a live wallpaper that shifts shapes and colors on your home screen. As you scroll through your home screen, the shapes will shift, rotate, or move in a 3D parallax motion and it looks awesome because a lot of people don't actually have this and they're gonna be they're gonna be amazed. It's almost like you have a boring static wallpaper, but not really because when you scroll through it moves and it sort of follows that material design look on Lollipop. There's also various different themes that you can choose from, and to be honest, I dig almost all of them. Five, pictures. Pictures, spelled with a K, is the cleanest and most beautiful gallery app you will find. This application will organize your pictures in different folders so you can navigate through each photo easily. It also loads up your pictures extremely fast and you can filter each picture by a specific location if you scroll all the way to the left. There's also a cool feature which is a calendar. Basically there you can show which pictures you took each day to help you remember the past and see what you're doing that specific day. 6. Shuttle Shuttle is a music player that follows the material design layout on Lollipop. The reason why this is a better music player in my opinion is because of the customization that you can do. In the settings, you can change how the main page looks, you can rearrange the category tabs, you can also change the overall color theme which is awesome, and you can add artworks to all your music, to your albums and all your music that you're playing, it adds music to whitelist or blacklist, and you can even set a sleep timer at night. It's extremely clean and it's plain out beautiful. I definitely recommend checking it out for all of you who enjoy listening to music. You'll enjoy it just as much as I do. 7. Heads Up Heads Up is a great application that shows you your notifications by using a banner. It's great for full screen applications or when you're watching a video because you can't see your status bar and when you have a notification it will pop up as a banner and it works just fine. You do not need root and you can change the theme as well of the way it looks. And one last option before I move on is that it displays the expanded notifications so you can delete, move, copy, and interact with notifications besides clearing them. 8. Archon Packager Archon Packager is the first application to let you run any application that is on your phone to your computer through Google Chrome. You can run Instagram, Twitter, games, and any application that you would use on a daily basis right on your laptop. I can see why a lot of people would still use this application and why it's so useful. It is a little complicated at first on how to use it, but I will leave a link in the description to a step-by-step -step tutorial that I made on how to use this application because you probably want to set it up first and, and see how this thing works out. But once you get it, it's actually very awesome, so check that out. 9. Messenger 
This is an application that will replace your current text messaging application and I will explain why. First of all, this messenger application is the official messaging application from Google besides Google Hangouts because it comes with the Nexus 6 and you know, it's just plain out beautiful. Now this application is very simple to use. You just open in the application and from the settings, you can change this as your default SMS app. And once you do that, all your messages will be transferred over and you can just start texting. It's also very smooth and there are some beautiful animations found within the UI. You can also send a picture or voice memo by tapping on the paper clip in a conversation and your pictures will slide up from the bottom of the screen. From there, you can actually select what photos to send and you can take a picture within the application as well. You don't have to go to the camera app. And in each conversation, the color of the entire theme will actually change to your friend's contact picture, which is actually pretty cool. And this is my current messaging application and I love it to death. Hopefully you guys will love it too. And I will leave the link in the description to go download it. 10. Lazy Swipe This application is sort of like Pi Control if you can remember what that is. But the concept to Lazy Swipe is that you can bring up a menu from any application. You can launch your recent applications, your favorite applications, and you can toggle menus such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. Everything works smoothly and the trigger can be placed anywhere on the side of your screen. For example, I can turn on my flashlight from any application, mess around with the brightness, or switch to Instagram without minimizing YouTube. Check it out, it's there to download in the Play Store. So that's 10 applications you should definitely check out. If you want to see the rest of the applications, then click the link in the description or on the screen and it will take you to my Andrew Techman channel, which will be a video of the continuing segment of the best apps of 2015. Check it out in the description. But thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up. I try my best to make content for you guys and it will help me out so much if you could just click that button. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Kapow!